What's up, everybody? Sick Otaku Couple here, back with more reactions for the channel. Almost said for the Patreon. <laughs> Wrong intro. It's COVID brain. It is COVID brain. We're still sick with COVID. It's a good time. It's okay. For the second time. Right. We're lucky. So lucky. Ooh. Anyways, in one of our previous videos, we did mention... Wanted to get back into more videos. We have Domestic Girlfriend, a dumpster fire. I can't stop watching. This was one of the videos that every time we do a gig video, <coughs> we've been told we need to watch this one. So you know what? We We're also... going to do it. I think he has a couple of these Domestic Girlfriend videos. So this was just the first one that popped up. It seemed like the first one. We also need to do the Fate one. Yeah, it's just, it's a, it's a long one. <laughs> And I'll, then on I'll top pull, of your rant, it's going to be even longer. Listen, We're looking at like an hour-long reaction fine. video. I'll pull up a PowerPoint and everything. It's, so an hour and a half. End of beneening. You guys let us know down below in the comments if you want us to react to his trying to explain fate in 30 minutes video. We've seen it already. Baby, Ren has a, a lot, lot of, of things to say, say about. L listen, this is the definitive one. If you guys want the video, let us know down below in the comments. And be sure to like and subscribe and all that good stuff because every little bit helps. And if you want to support the channel monetarily, we do have a Patreon where we react to TV Close show and that. anime completely uncut. Where we react to all of Fate. <coughs> so <coughs> if that interests you, Check it out. Let's hop on into the video. This video is sponsored by Bookwalker. 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 I was just now. I'm going to sleep. Spicy. What are you doing? Step bro. Since the beginning of mankind, we have always been drawn to fire. Its mesmerizing flames, dancing and weaving, was what kept us alive and warm. Bro, how do we get? <laughs> how do we get here after what you do it, Step brains. Bro? Which is why, in the modern age, almost as if by instinct, we are still drawn to a dumpster fire, no matter how dangerous or smelly or incestuous it may be. Domestic Girlfriend, or to go by its Japanese name, Domestic Nakanojo, or Kokunai no Girlfriend, or Boku no Girlfriend Academia, is the latest- <laughs> Boku no Girlfriend Academia. <laughs> yes. That is the Let's only way to talk about think. this show now. This is romance to spice up this anime community. A full-on 4K 60 frames per second car crash in slow motion <laughs> that explodes into a beautiful, roaring, not related by blood flame that we as dumpster the moths can't help but fly into. So if you're feeling happy because Kaguya Summer has finally cured your depression this season, have no fear. Domestic Girlfriend has come along just in time to bring it back. <laughs> to again. bring it back again. Shouts out to the Patreon that continues to not vote for Kaguya Sama as a reaction series. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> That's the good one, baby, not this. Oh. Well. We have to watch Kaguya Sub on our own time or something. See, this show isn't just any romance anime. This is we'll the next of level of romance that. anime. You know how in most anime romances it takes 10 decades of characters standing around wondering if they should confess? And then when we finally get some hot, steamy hand holding action, <laughs> but they that's get lewd. once again by everyone's favorite third wheel fireworks kun. Yeah, that's right, I'm calling you out. Do you know how many fucking confessions you've ruined? Well, luckily, Domestic Girlfriend is so much more realistic because it starts with a dude having just smashed a bird oh and that dude's got a crush on his teacher oh and his dad's getting remarried uh-huh oh and his new stepsisters are going to be his teacher and the girl he lost his virginity to nice oh and they're going to be living in the same house and starting a step-sibling love triangle mm-hmm mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> spicy thanks spicy <laughs> Not the ribs he needs. What the <laughs> fuck is this? That's the best way to explain it. What? Shouts out to, for all those who know about the new anime season, the... Is it, um... 
I forget the the ridiculous title, but it's literally like my my stepsister is oh. used to be my ex or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I know what it's you're. It's just yeah. like, bro, why are, we're we're just going all into this it? Is I guess. What we're doing. We now you may be sitting here thinking, wow. This sounds like it can only end badly, but I can assure you, despite what <laughs> sounds like an absolute disaster of a premise, <laughs> it only goes downhill from here. <laughs> See, really? when we're talking about domestic girlfriends, we have to describe things in terms of spice level, because literally every episode, something happens that will give you the uncontrollable urge to go, Oh, that's a spicy boy! Step sibling crushes, teacher student relationships, affairs with married men, love pentagrams, love rivals. What's next? Find out on the next episode of Two Girls, One Brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy. But don't worry, it's not some creepy sitcom kind of show, you know? I, I, I swear, I, I, I swear to God. I mean, we all know it's not incest anyway if you shout no chromo. If we take a look at <laughs> No chromo! Beer, beer, stop, stop, stop. Calm down. She <laughs> came in. She wanted to be rapey too. No. In the spiciest peppers in the world, we have the famous ghost pepper at around a million scovels, the Trinidad scorpion, which beats even that, and the granddaddy, the Carolina reaper at a whopping 2.2 million scovel units. A pepper so spicy that it's even hospitalized some people for eating it. And yeah. yet, that is nothing compared to getting rejected by your first love and almost double suiciding with her, who's also your teacher's stepsister, making out with your other stepsister, flirting with your club president, only to then walk in on your teacher's stepsister buttering her muffin to the thought of her ex-lover while you just stand there and watch while emotional J-pop plays. <laughs> In the span of a single episode. Bro, you can't. You can't be serious, bro. Really? <laughs> In what episode? <laughs> All right, baby, we got to we got to we got to use this series now, for our next thinking. community watch night. Oh, look, watch night. talking about another trashy <laughs> sister show. Does Darth you want this to be the new era manga sensei or something? <laughs> <laughs> so will Jackie. That because it should be obvious that these two and shows are everybody, all the mods will have a field day with trash, this series. But one is a flaming dumpster and the other is a flaming dumpster. That the UN definitely want to ban. Not to mention, if you compare the two protagonists, you got the virgin Masamune fantasizing over a single weak source of a little sister who'd probably spontaneously combust without constant care and attention, so he has to play manslave. And here we got Natsuo, already got laid, fucking dual wielding incest. <laughs> other girls reaching yeah, levels of dual Chad wielding incest. Possible. Reaching levels of chairs. Because what I can respect is someone who knows what they want and they fucking go for it. Because if you're an anime girl and someone tells you that you can't be with the protagonist because of some bizarre reason like your family or something, you just need to hit him with one of these. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this time we've got the sister. The sister who's also your teacher, the shy club president, and a girl who's glops enough semen to put her into clinical depression. I'm just kidding, Momo's a fucking angel and deserves all the love, care, and attention and semen she wants. Now, I know I said before <laughs> that nothing could compete with Hina as the older stepsister that's also your teacher, but in my calculations, I forgot just how much Rui can tip the scale, because you see, in life, there are these mythical creatures that we cannot confirm the existence of, and Rui is one of those creatures of legend, the sacred being we know only as the Emoto. The Emoto. <laughs> Plus, she's a short blue hair. Love like, uh. Mm hmm. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh huh. Keep, yeah, keep going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm feeling quite hopeful. And the thing about the show is Somebody that You know it's gonna happen, but you watch anyway because secretly you're a bit sadistic and you wanna see how big that crash can get. And see, I feel like there's a secret to the spicy formula that is domestic girlfriends, and that's hentai.
All right, hear me out. It is quite well documented uh, that hentai is an art form that rivals the likes of Picasso, and <laughs> Warhol, and that toothbrush scene in Nizu Monogatari. But you must remember that it runs on its own rules, not bound by the laws of reality, where fat ugly businessmen are the model of peak masculinity and <laughs> hips are sentient beings that can move on their own. Because that world isn't the same 2019 world we live in now, I bet they don't even ask the like button for consent before smashing it. So when <laughs> watching an episode of Domestic Girlfriends, you may wonder how they can pack so much spice into every episode, but once you realize it runs on hentai rules, it makes perfect sense. We've got oh. levels of cucking not seen since Netarare Genesis Gurengelion. We've got these names for these shows. <laughs> People who are allergic to closing doors because you can't spell spicy without spy. We've got every conceivable vanilla hentai setup you can ask for. The older sister is having a beer. How long till she passes out on the sofa and the guy tries kissing her? Two minutes. Jesus, it was literally two, <laughs> two minutes. Two minutes. Oh, we couldn't make this more hentai if we tried. <gasps> what are you doing? Doing step <laughs> That brings up an important question. Why would I want to watch a hentai without the banging in it? Doesn't that defeat the entire point? I can't jack off to this. And that's a very good question, and I think the only proper response is Bro, if you set your mind to it, you can jack off to anything. <laughs> no! God, no! Just go read a doujinshi about this. It's fine. <laughs> Maybe we stepped into something we had no business stepping into. <laughs> you chose it. The crowd chose this. The comment section chose mm -hmm. this. The advantage of going by hentai rules is that it allows your series to become plot heavy. Because in this art form, it needs to be plot heavy because you don't want to waste precious time with people not banging. So you constantly <laughs> need spicy things to be happening and surprisingly, that's entertaining as fuck. Because why would you want to watch some vanilla sex scene anyway when you can just see characters get golden showers <laughs> of depression? And this leads me to believe that the unreleased full title of the show is actually Domestic Na Kanajo X Kanajo X Kanajo. Don't look at me like that. I know you got that reference. Of course, with the spiciness I witnessed in the runtime of the show, it made me you don't know me, curious Garth. to see how big of a car crash the manga would be. And what I found was my absolute worst fear. That I, that I really fucking enjoyed it. All right, just let me explain. While the start of the series is a spicy mess, as it moves on, adequate time is given to really flesh out the characters and make them relatable. <clears throat> Even some characters who I wasn't a fan of initially won me over, and before you know it, you're invested. Mm -hmm. Despite all the semen demons vying for a taste of Natsuo's <laughs> seed, no one ever acts in a way that's completely inconsiderate or douchey. Everyone's just been put in a fucked up situation and they're trying their best to handle these messy feelings that they know they probably shouldn't have. For example, for the full on school days disaster route this oh could God, go, please, Natsuo never days. goes out of his way just to get his dick wet every time a girl opens her gate of Babylon for him. <laughs> he genuinely cares about everyone around him and acts in a way that tries to make everyone happy. So it's hard to hate him because despite how fucking stupid and naive his actions can be. You want everyone to be happy too, but you also know that because of the way things are set up, that's impossible. Someone yeah. or everyone is gonna end up with their heart broken, so it's less of a case of Why the hell are you doing this, you stupid idiot? And more of God damn it! I knew this was gonna happen, but it doesn't hurt anymore! <laughs> Mind this with the same spicy plot progression that will continue to make you shout, Woo! every few chapters <laughs> and you have yourself a really compelling read. Things continually happen even if you know it's all just melodramatic junk food shit but you're uh. invested enough in the characters to keep you turning the next page. Unlike your normal harem romance where you have 200 chapters of will they, won't they, no they will, no they won't, okay can something just happen, can please something happen, please just something happen, and then just as as when we watch from, from oh. me to you or whatever. Yeah. God, we wrecked it out on our page, right? It was so bad. Like, the first season was fine. The build-up was fine for the first season. And then it ends with them going on their shrine date. Cool. Everything should be hunky-dory. No, no. They still took two-thirds of the second season to actually get together, and it infuriated us. <laughs> because now, timeline-wise, it doesn't make sense. Great. <laughs> doing the 
as you're about to give up all hope, they finally confess and maybe kiss and then the show just ends. <coughs> Nothing in Domestic Girlfriend is ever static. Time actually progresses at a reasonable pace and you see characters going through different stages of their lives. Without spoiling anything that happens, the plot eventually moves past everyone being in high school. You get to see how characters tackle relationships when they have things like job aspirations, college and responsibilities to worry about. Characters face repercussions for the actions they take and they learn and change from it. Action never comes without consequence and oh boy is there a lot of fucking action. So even though when reading a normal anime romance your emotional state may go something like this. Are oh, they gonna get together? No. Okay. No. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Domestic <laughs> girlfriend is more like. And then no. <laughs> oh god. To me, Domestic Girlfriend is the perfect melodrama. It's you with fate. Yeah. Every fate series. Yeah. Even the movies. Yeah. Which we have reacted to the Heaven's Field movies as well. It was a good time. I'm blending human characters who develop and the Grand Order the story movie. with some of the most ridiculous <laughs> plot progression that is undeniably melodrama trash, but you want to know what happens next because you're invested in the characters. Which leads me to believe this may actually be a good manga with trashy moments in it. Or a trashy manga with good moments in it. I, I, I haven't quite figured out which way around it is. <laughs> While I initially read ahead just Let's to see just how trash- Let's just give it the benefit of the doubt. We'll go with the former. It became, I ended up marathoning marathoning the entire series in two days, so even though I came in with the complete intention of memeing the fuck out of everything, it's become my newest obsession that I can't recommend enough. So if you want a really addicting drama to read, go pick this up, and if you need any more reason, unlike the anime, the manga has got FUCKING TITTIES! <laughs> hey, also, you didn't hear this from me, but there are these things called point five chapters, which aren't necessarily there to move the plot along, but I think they're worth reading anyway, because you might find something that'll take the manga to what we'll call peak spice. I'm neither team eater nor team Rue at this point. I just want both to be happy. <laughs> Hey guys, hope you enjoyed that video. Oh, then it's the sponsor, okay. Oh my All right, God. I, I love this dude's videos so much. He just has a great way of doing these, like, analytical videos that are just meme the fuck out of them. Yeah. And I just I just love them. Like, I, I, I like, vaguely remember stuff about domestic girlfriends, so I was just like, eh, whatever. I didn't really know what was going to happen in this video, but, like, now I'm like, all right, if I if I had zero knowledge, I was sold now. <laughs> Just to read it. And like mm. you said, in case it's a fucking dumpster fire. Mm. <laughs> I kind of want to do this for one of our anime watch party nights. Just to get every... Because we turn all of our anime watch party nights on the Discord into drinking games. Good. And we could definitely make a drinking game out of this dumpster fire of an anime. <laughs> I'm here for. We usually go with horror slash gory kind of anime stuff. We did my dress up darling too. That was like the most etchy one we've we've made drinking games out of. But we could we could definitely make something happen with this. Oh, Lord, It'd be a great time. A great time, baby. Great time. Well, you degenerates, we finally gave you the giga video you've been requesting, so let us know which one of his videos Dirty we should react boys. to next. And we'll catch y'all in the next video. Bye. Bye.